Hello and welcome to our introductory course to using JSON data and connecting it to a MySQL database. So we're going to run through a whole bunch of different technologies showing you how they all work together throughout this course. So what I've got open here within the window here is our default form that we're going to be building out. Uh, all of this data is actually coming from the MySQL database. So when I look over here, we've got a listing of the data. So my name's Lawrence, and I've been a web developer for over 15 years, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. So I'm going to be showing you how to use a combination of JavaScript, uh, JSON, and sending that via Ajax over to uh, PHP. So we're going to start out the course by covering off some basics of working with JavaScript. We're even going to look into DOM, connecting and updating content via the DOM uh, and JavaScript within your HTML. And then we're going to look at how we can send content over with Ajax and pull back content from a JSON file. And we're also going to look through how we can loop through that content and output it in a readable format within your web page. And then we're going to start getting into some really cool stuff with PHP and MySQL. So we're going to set up a fresh uh, new database and a table. So this is kind of like a user table where we've got first name, last name, and age. So we're going to be using this table format and accessing it via PHP. And the PHP is actually going to output the dynamic JSON file. So we can see here what we're getting with PHP back from the MySQL database. So we're outputting it in a JSON format. And then that JSON format is going to be the same thing that we're picking up here within the front end code and pulling it through within our HTML. So I'm going to list out a new person here. Uh, just show you how this is form is going to work. And so we can dynamically add in content into our form. Uh, when we look and refresh our database content, we see that now that newly deposited entry is in the MySQL database. And this is all done through PHP connecting to the database. So we're going to walk you through how to connect to a database in PHP and how to update, send back your database content via JSON in PHP. And then uh, we're going to look at interactivity with JSON, so giving us the ability to not only pull back data from our database, but also uh, deposit some data into our database. And then uh, looking at tweaking the code, uh, just different ways to work with the code, uh, submitting, cleaning up the code. And also, we're going to bring in jQuery, because jQuery is uh, an easier way that we can send AJAX requests into our server. Uh, so we're going to be looking at that as well. So this is going to be a really neat course, because we're going to be doing some comparisons between JavaScript. We're going to do it all in JavaScript. And then we're going to reformat it and rebuild it within jQuery. We're also going to be doing that for PHP. Uh, so with PHP, there's different ways to interact with the database. So we're going to be showing you uh, some newer ways to use PHP code to access database content as well. And also going through different ways to tweak the code to make it work better and more functional. So this course is packed with a whole bunch of different technologies. And I do encourage you to work along with the course content. I've included a lot of the source code that you're going to need, as well as resources. So you too can set up your computer system to be the same as mine as I work through the course. And you can practice along. So when you're ready, let's begin writing some code.